if the job ain't finished. It's finished. All we got to do is push that cabinet over. No! no. You stupid or something! Oh, where are you coming? I'm done, Dan. As soon as Brian pulled out his job, it was finished. Look, 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 look. I wish I'd take a selfie. <laughs> Send it to Brian saying, yeah, look, this is how you left us. I'm sorry to tell you, Mr. Cyrus, yours was one of the boxes that was broken into. Are you saying any of the Tom? Am I ever knew who's going to be handling it? Basil thinks Brian should have a share over my dead body, mate. I'll deal with Brian, and he'll be fair. This is it. Don't be talking to anyone about this. Keep your mouth shut. There's still a lot of stuff left over that Kenny's going to look after. What are you going to do now? I'm out of here. You keep away from him, Brian. He sets himself up, Mr. Master. Well, they're about the camera in front of your eyes. Stop coming round here, mate. I mean it. All I want, Kenny, I want you to pass this message on is what's rightfully mine. We have another vehicle to focus on, an 11 plate, white Mercedes. Find that Merc, and we find the owner. Come on in. Here. He's on the move. 10.42. Getting into his car with his dog. Coming out onto Cropley Street. Stand by. He's turning left, left, left. Onto Rushton Street. We have eyeball. Turning left. He's slowing down. He's stopped. Car is stationary. He's walking his dog again. Still won't get out of the car. Whoa, there you go. Come on. Give, come on. He has the most boring lifestyle in the world. Be a good boy now. Dad won't be long. Himself again. He's been in no mates. Bought the dog coffee, bought the dog coffee. Got to be kidding me. What? It's all genuine. I ain't arguing that. It's just. I've got a good idea where you got it from. I watched the news, Terry. How much more you got? Can I? Why aren't you using Brian to handle all this? He's not involved in this one. Is he? The problem is, it's all too hot, mate. The dealers are all looking out for it. They'll have photos of the stuff that's been nicked. The best I can do for you, mate, would be 50%. 50? Yeah, I uh... Brian's very thorough. 
And he knows exactly where to place something like this so nobody will recognize it. Unless you know all the dealers and what to take where, all I can do is take out the stones and melt down the gold and give you the scrap value. Fifty. Yeah. You're having me over. You know you are. some steaks and I had to find out that went with shorty Ryan said he'd do for 20% commission max 25 I come shorty's double that a decent bloke shorty he never strike me yeah 50 Jesus I half wish Ryan was still with us well he ain't Shorty down. I tell him, 30 or no deal. 40, Max. Yeah, we got him. He's headed for the park again. what he's saying about me. I haven't been able to speak to him since I did it. I told you to go round and tell him I wanted to speak to him. Yeah, I know, but I've been thinking about that and I can't. We're not supposed to see each other for another six months. We're playing with fire talking here now, me and you. Are they talking to each other? Don't know, I can't tell at this distance. I want my fucking share. I thought you corner, Brian, I swear to God. You asked Basil, but it's not up to me, is it? Terry's calling the shots now. Terry Perkins can't call nothing. He's too dim. You tell him, if he won't meet me, I'll come round his house. If he wants to fuck me over, he can do it to my face. Other blokes walking off. I see one male, 70s, I guess. Daring heists in living memory in London's most exclusive jewellery district. This is not a victimless crime. The box holders we're dealing with are mainly small businesses, and they're not making huge profits. People face losing their homes. There's a tendency to think how audacious, how clever the raid was, but it's ruined lives. And finally, and exclusively, you wanted to announce a reward. We're offering a reward of £20,000 for information leading to the conviction of the gang responsible for this crime. 20 grand? That this That's insulting. Pocket money. Oh, well, it's good news. Well, I usually offer fortunes. What a clear run here, mate.
Amu, shall I make you a cup of tea? No. Thank you. We had a call earlier from the lady at the London Diamond Bourse. She's offering to help everybody with their insurance claims. to me, mate. I felt so bad for walking away like that. My head weren't right, Dad. You know that. What with me... What with me guts? And... We did something special, Dad. Didn't we? And to be forgiven by you, well... I couldn't ask for more. You ain't forgiven. As to keep your mouth shut, okay? You let me down, Carl. Big time. Uh, she's great too, you know, not one. She's so good at it. Let's see, look, I've got a picture on my phone here. You put a, a star show she did. Hang on, yeah, I'll show you. It's in the car. Terry Perkins, I've got a message for you. What do you mean? You got a message? Who are you? Kenny sent me. Who's he? So, uh, so go back, love. Just wait over there. Where? The hell do you think you're playing at? Hey, I'm here with my family. Kenny said to let you know someone wants to meet. That's all he said. They never actually look at each other. What was your impression? I think we got excited because it's a slight change of routine that day. But it's probably just two old boys on a park bench. We'll have to reassess what the surveillance on Collins has given us. Another couple of days, I think that's probably it. Move the resources elsewhere. He's gone past the turn-off for the park, continuing south. Must be going straight to the Kess. South on Farringdon Lane. Expect a left, left, left turn on... To Clarkenwell Green. Wait. He's driving straight past... We cannot follow. We need someone to leapfrog. We're held at the lights. We've lost him. He's turned right onto Britain Street. He's turned right, 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 and he's heading west on Benjamin Street. 60 seconds away. The vehicle is slowing. The vehicle is stationary in, in a turn off Benjamin Street. Heading there now on foot. Is anyone else near Benjamin Street? Can you make a pass down there immediately? Negative. We're still a couple of minutes away. 2-2, give your location. On my vehicle, there's nobody in it. 
Has anybody got eyeball? Negative. Negative. I need eyeball. Okay, the target is off grid. Location unknown. He's in an area around Farrington Station. Come on, someone must have him. Negative. He hasn't come this way yet. Bollocks. Wait. I've got him. He's going into the pub with another male IC-170s. Could be the same guy from the park. See me about her. You know why I want to see her. I'm entitled to a share. I planned that job from the ground up. Every tiny little detail. What about you walked away? Yeah, you and Carl. Oh, fuck Carl. I got the blueprints in the building. I worked out how to get us in. I got Basil on the alarms. This is my job. That is true, to be fair. It was your job. I deserve a share. You're telling me you're going to give him a full share for fucking falling asleep. You're going to give me nothing. Oh, hang on a minute. Shut up. Without me, you'd never have got in there. But we was two men down. I nearly killed over now, and he pegged it. If it weren't for Dan, I'd be done. Where was you? He was fast to keep me indoors. What are you going to do with the tongue? I ain't decided yet. I can do it all for 35 commission. 35? Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to do it for 25. Yeah, well, that was before you tried to stiff me. 35. That is the best deal you mugs will get. Better than you get from fucking Shorty. What's he going to do? Melt it down? Well, that's what he's told you. Well, yeah, it ain't just short, is it? All our options. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the others, eh? Mickey Mouse and Pluto? <laughs> <laughs> you can't go with shorty tell. <laughs> is that right? Where's the rest of the gear right now? With Kenny? Yeah, with me. Probably makes sense for you to have a look over it at some point. See what we got. The sooner the better. Have a look over it all and take his share at the same time. What do you think, Till? Just a minute, can he, will you? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll leave it to it. I'll tell you what I'll do, Brian. Um, come here to clear this up so it's, it's not hanging over us. You need me, Terry. No offence, but you try and do this without me, it'll blow up in your face. Right, well. So this is what I'll give you out of the pot, all right? Fuck all. That's what you're getting. Fuck all. You are making a big mistake. It's still trying to load it up. Years I've had to put up with your shit. But I came here today ready to cut you in, but all you've done is just, just reminding me what an arrogant fucking arsehole you are. I told you I needed this job. I told you I was skinned, but you know you're fucking monkeys about me, do you? You don't want to be making an enemy out of me, Terry. I want to start making threats, old son. I'm gonna have to do better than that. Oh, go on, get out of my fucking sight. Go on, you're all gone, mate. You're gone, you. You can barely ache as much as you like. You stand getting fuck all. <laughs>
Amita, I have to tell you something that has been weighing very heavily on me. I have been trying to make economies in order that we might improve our finances. As we paid the annual fee for the deposit box, I took the decision that would save money on insurance premiums. Just until Dasa leaves college. What are you saying? That I'm a very foolish man and a bad husband. You're not insured. for any of the stuff that's been stolen from us. I'm so sorry. Everything. <laughs> I think we have our key players. On the right, Terence George Perkins, 67. Plenty of form. He's a violent armed robber, part of a gang that pulled petrol over a security guard and threatened to set him alight. Sentenced to 22 years in 1983 for his part in the Security Express robbery. And when he was banged up in Parkhurst, he met the guy on the left. Brian Henry Reader, 76 years old. Brinks Matt. Stood trial with Kenneth Noy for the murder of an undercover police officer, but both were acquitted. What are they talking about? Uh, audio is drowned out by background noise, but the lip reader got most of it. Uh, three other names mentioned as being on the job. Basil, alarms man, Dan, and then someone called Carl, who also didn't go back to the vault on the second night. Shall we pull them? I'll leave them in play. The only way to build a cast iron case is to get them and the proceeds together in the same place. I want probes in their cars and I want to get into their phones. I couldn't agree with you more, Brian. It's just not fair. You know, he's come out and said what he said. My hands are tied. I, I can't just give you a share, can I? I'm not saying that. All I want is a little bit off the top of the gear you're looking after. That's all. You know that's fair. They'll notice. You said yourself, the divvy up isn't for another six months. How are they going to know what was in them bags? They haven't even looked in them. Oh, come on now, Kenny. You owe me that much, old pal. I feel like oh, I've given him the upper hand. No way. Well, you listen to me. You know, demanding this, demanding that. Uh, you're well shot of him, Tell. You've done the right thing. I should have played along until we divvied it all up. All I've done is put him on notice that he's not going to get a share. Jan, it's Kenny. Is, is Billy there? No, he's away, Ken. What do you mean? He's in Spain. Uh, I, need, I, need, I need to talk to him about something. Well, you'll probably get him on his mobile. Look, look I've, I've got to go. I'll call you later. Oh, call God. back. Come on, get her. 
way he wants to move in. Where is it? Behind here. What do you mean? Where is it, Kenny? This would be brother-in-law. He's looking after it for me. I was never going to stash it here. Who's your brother-in-law? Billy. You brought somebody else in on this without asking me first. I can trust him. He, he's a fellow I sent with a message about Brian. How do you know he ain't got his hands in them bags? Well, he wouldn't. What do you mean he wouldn't? This human fucking nature! Right. Let's go around here right now and see him. I can't. He's on holiday. <laughs> I swear on my life, I haven't. I'll bring the divvy up forward. I want it on Friday. What? Bad idea, Tell. Very bad idea. I don't even know if you'll be back by then. I'm not gonna fucking monkeys! I thought what was going on all day. We'll do it at her place. One o'clock, Friday. And you make sure you bring the gear. All of it. So he's told this bill. Who the fuck is Bill told? Everyone. Oh, fucking world. That's all we need to move quickly. I suppose about that basil knife, wherever the fuck he is. It's me. Terry's bringing the divvy up forward. What? When to? Tomorrow. Y you're kidding. Can you put it off? I tried that. I'm not sure what to do. Well, you've got to go home. If you don't, they'll just nick your share off you. This is bad practice. There's no way we should be anywhere near the gear until Christmas at the earliest. It's not healthy. If you're not there, you'll never see your share again. That's a guarantee. Terry's got no scruples. I'll be in touch. Drop me right in it, Bill. Right in it, mate. Oh, I didn't know you wanted it back so quick. What happened to six months? You should have told me you was going away. I looked a right prick not knowing where the gear was. Don't panic. I'll get a flight back tonight. Where is it? I've got it in a 
Well, I need it first thing, Friday. No problem. Fucking arsehole. Jesus. Shit. When were you gonna tell me? I was gonna call you. We need to bring our get the gather forward. I just need ten minutes with them bags before you take them to Terry and Danny. You'll take all the good stuff. I know you will, and they'll notice. No, they won't. And it's me they'll take it out on. Just cream off a couple of high-value pieces. And listen, whatever I take, I'll split with you 50-50, and you know I'll get a good price for it. Prison and correct. Right, well, see you later. You want to calm down? You wind up having a heart attack, mate. Ten minutes away. All clear? Yeah. But hurry up, will ya? I'll call you when I'm round the corner. Hello, Kenny. What are you doing here? Just wanted to make sure all the gear was safe. You're early. I'm not you. Should we get going then? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'll see you there, eh? No, no, we're staying with you. Oh, security. What's up, Kenny? Why are you answering? Do you want my. I'll answer it. Woman! 
the name of that pub again? Get it? I told you before, Brian. Fuck all! So we all get in. He kept on and on at me. I just thought I'd meet him and clear the air. I wasn't gonna let him have nothing, you know that tell. Left here. Just over there on the right, but don't go on the drive. I don't want the neighbours seeing. Go around the corner. Here, here. Show me the way for Vassal. No, bollocks to him. He can't be bothered to turn up on time. Let's give him a few more minutes. I want him to be able to tell the master what he's missing out on. Hello? It's me. I'm on my way there. Vassal, thank fuck. Listen to me. You've got to argue my case. He's trying to cut me out of here. I'm going to end up with nothing. Where are you? Tell him I'll do it for 20%. 15 if I have to. Tell him that. Why are you letting him get to you like this? I can't have him beat me. Franklin Rose is up on the left, mate. He's totally incompetent. All he's ever done is hang on to other people's shirt tails. He hasn't got a brain of his own. What's happened between you and Brian? You used to be good friends. <laughs> He's got, got a few years left. The people I see will have to say, in my opinion, to be true, is a cunt. You get too close to someone, you can't see what they're really like. Sucking the life out of you, feeding off your ideas. He's a leech. Oh, he's taking all of this for me to finally see what he really is. A fucking tyrant. He's on a power trip. He asked for the meeting, his side of the river, so I'll come on over. I sit with him in the pub, but all this interested in is putting one over on me. Wait a minute. You went to meet him? In a public place? Arrogant prick. He thinks he can get the better of me. Thinks he's better than me. <laughs> That's been the problem all along. You should have told me you met him. Sorry, Brian. Hello? Uh, drive on. I've changed my mind. Sorry. Tell you what I feel now. I think put him in his place. I feel, uh, what's the word? Free. Made your point. Right. We worked out it must be yours from the description you gave. 
My initials were on the pouch. We only recovered the property yesterday. From underneath a gravestone, actually. Thank God for smiling on us. Try and put knees on. Red velvet pouch initialed GSKC containing one diamond necklace. That's correct. I'm guessing they're taking the diamonds out of the necklace to sell them individually. These are not my diamonds. No, I see them. Perhaps you're mistaken. They're not my diamonds. They are cut in a different way to the ones we're using in that necklace. This is somebody else's property. could have just said they were yours. Our property was stolen and we cannot pay back our creditors. They could have said they were ours. No one would have known. I would have known. I would have known for the rest of my days.
And you can get the inside story on Hatton Garden as Ross Kemp investigates in a crime and punishment special tomorrow night at 9. And he's kept us gripped all week. Also from writer Jeff Pope, Sheridan Smith stars in Scylla, available now on ITV Hub. Next, it's the ITV News.